Hey, it's Will Schneider. Uh, we're going to work today with finding your seat. Like, why is it important to find your seat? Is because this is your building blocks, your foundation of all of your practices. So whether you're going to do a meditation, whether you're going to do some breathing work, or a combination of some like physical work with breath work and meditation, you want to be able to find and access your seat. It's because it calls attention to you're doing something a little bit differently. It's also going to help strengthen your back. Um, I'll talk about a couple, couple different uh, seats. But just be patient. It could take some time depending on your flexibility and where you are in your practice or your body. It could take time to develop these seats. So whether you're sitting like I am with Shivarasana or I'll show you another one, uh, Sukhasana, you really want to sit up nice and tall. So let's talk about Varasana first, um, also known as hero's pose. So I'm actually sitting right with two blocks, right, nice and tall, right, and I'm sitting with my body folded underneath me. So I have my feet back. Right, I have my sit bones right, right on this, on this, um, on the blocks. But I really also, I don't want to slouch. I don't want to like allow my low back to kind of release and kind of get all sloppy in my abdominals and my chest and my back. I really want to sit up. Right, so I'm going to walk my sit bones back. Maybe kind of pull the fleshy part off of your butt a little bit. And notice I'm sitting up nice and tall for Varasana. I'm not slouching and kind of getting into our tech mode or like Instagram mode or whatever. We're really sitting up nice and tall. And again, it could take time to develop this strength. Be patient and just keep going because you will develop that strength over time if you keep doing the practice. So this is Varasana. Um, another one is our Sukhasana, which you're going to sit cross-legged like is very common in the yoga world, kind of sitting cross-legged. I have a, a buckwheat hall filled uh, yoga cushion here that I've had for years. I think I bought it online for like 30 or 40 bucks. But I really suggest like having something that that's full of buckwheat hull instead of cotton because it kind of uh, it forms around your butt. So you can bring it down. If you want to lift up the seat a little bit higher with a blanket, you can absolutely take it up a little bit higher depending on how tall you are. But I want to sit on this nice little cushion. Right, I'm going to cross my legs as best you can. This can be challenging to find this seat. Um, it took me a long time to be able to sit up nice and tall, sit up nice and comfortably on my hips. So if this is a little bit distant from you right now, then I suggest you sitting in Varasana like the, I just showed you earlier. And again, still here, right, same deal. I'm walking on my sit bones, I'm on the very base of my spine, which is the perineum, I'm lengthening all the way up and sitting up nice and tall and erect, right, lengthening through the crown of the head, you can even imagine like kind of a string is pulling you up, like you're Spine is like a string of pearls going up nice and tall, but you're still anchoring down at the same time. And that's your seat. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Send me some comments below, and uh, have a great day.